All right, guys, I've got my SOG pillar here. Now, I, I like to use the uh, ulti clip on it, although uh, I want you guys to be aware of one thing about the ulti clip is, is it rusts. And I'm in Southern California here, and I've got, you can see a fair bit of surface rust on here. But they work amazingly well. I don't know if ulti clip actually make a stainless version. If they don't, I think they should. Because uh, we don't have that bad a humidity here, but uh, if you're in somewhere like Oklahoma or somewhere like that and you've got a lot of humidity, you're, you're going to want stainless, um, I, I think. Oh, I mean, I don't wear this all the time, I don't wear this knife all the time, because I have, have a lot of knives to, to, to play with. but. Um, but I carry it all the time. Whenever I go camping, which I am now, I'm in the van camping, and um, I like to I like to keep this on hand. It's a it's a very useful knife. This the SOG pillar, and uh, oh, and here it is. Uh, and I mean, this has got a good steel. It's it's uh, S35 VN. It's a nice, good stainless steel. So anyway, back to the clip. Um, I'm just going to buff this up with a bit of wire wool and, and oil it and put it back on. But uh, I just wanted you guys to see that that these things do rust. All right, let's get the <laughs> the oil of the day. This is a really old. This is a vintage kind of uh, Singer sewing machine oil. Nice light oil to use. And uh, yeah, let's get on with it. Just giving it a look. Just a little light, light rub. Take off that surface rust. Light rub all over. Get into the nooks and crannies there. When you finish doing that, I'm just, I'm just going to give it a little bit of oil and put it back together. So that's it. Just a little video, just to just to show you guys that um, these ulti clips rust. So just be aware when you when you purchase one, depending on where you live, if you're in a in an environment that's kind of prone to rusting. cleaned up pretty nicely. One part of it was a little pitted but I cleaned up good. 
I think I think it'd be nice if uh, I don't like I say I don't know if they make any stainless ones. I haven't seen any, but it'd be a good idea if they did. I think for people that are in more humid environments, you know, whether you're putting these on your guns or or knives or or whatever. All right, thanks for watching, guys. Catch you later. Thank you.